Good morning. So last night I got very inspired by someone on the Chaffle House Facebook group who made a brownie chaffle and filled it with mint buttercream frosting. And I thought to myself, that would make an incredible ice cream sandwich. So I am making Christy from OK Keto's chocolate chaffle and I am going to add some mint chip um, ice cream inside and I'm going to put it in the freezer and have it later on today or something. So stay tuned. So I've got my dash heating up and there is one ounce of cream cheese in here softened and one egg and I'm just going to mix these up. This is Christy from OK Keto's chocolate chaffle recipe. Um, so I'm going to follow that. And yeah, I'm videoing one-handed, so I might come back in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up really, really well. Um, the cream cheese is not mixing super great, so I hope mine turns out okay. Um, let me try this. I don't want to do a hand beater, but you're right, it probably would do better. Maybe I should. I just don't want to make a whole bunch of dishes. Oh, Alright, we'll come back in a second. Okay, and then you add a tablespoon of baking powder. Yeah. Cocoa powder, thank you for correcting me. My, it's a good thing my family's watching these videos while I'm doing them. That is cocoa powder and you need a tablespoon of cocoa powder. What did I say? Yeah, no baking powder. There's no baking powder in here. Ignore me. So, here we go. I'm making a huge mess. Okay. So, sorry for the terrible lighting. This, I mixed it up for a long time and look how nice it is. It's kind of like cake batter. So then I'm going to add in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 lilies chocolate. Okay? Now, in Christy's description box, she talks about how you need to add in um, a little bit of powdered swerve because it makes it taste a little better on further experimentation. So I'm not going to add that much because I don't like the flavor of um, fake sugar too much. Though those lily chocolates are pretty amazing. I just ate two. Um, just a minute, Henry. Don't talk to me while I'm doing this, please. Love ya. Because um, I already am distracted enough. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of that and hope that's not too much. And mix it up. And then, I got my little dash guy here. Can you see that? Yeah. And you can spray this pan. I've found that you don't really need to. I mean, I probably should because I don't have cheese as a base first. I have the cheese in here. So actually, yes, I'll be right back with that. So this is what I'm gonna use. It's coconut oil spray. Just a tiny bit, you don't need much. See, I've got my Enlightened Mint Chip defrosting a little bit so that I can actually scoop it out. Now we're gonna pour half of this on here and spread it around. Can you see that? Oops. There we go, close this guy. Wait for it to cook, then we'll come back. After it's cooked, I'm gonna put it on a cookie rack to um, cool down because that keeps it from getting soggy. Then I'll make my other one and then I'll assemble it into a ice cream sandwich. Okay, so here we go. He's not all the way ready, but look how beautiful he is and he smells so good. So good. Henry, how good does it smell? No, you just said no, it smelled so good. Tally says it no, smells extremely good. She's over there. You. You're mimicking me? 
Uh-huh. Wow. Uh -huh. Wow. It smells really good. I like my Chaffles Crispy. Not sure how much it matters with this version, but um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And it's a very soft, kind of like a cake. I'm gonna set it right here. That plastic is for when I wrap it. That looks so good. Okay, round two. And I'm not gonna spray this one. I don't think I need to. So I'll go ahead and pour the rest of this in here. And this one will actually probably end up being bigger because there's still a lot of um, batter in there. This guy is definitely bigger than the other one, but it's okay because I am going to use this um, cookie cutter to make them the exact same shape. And I also want it a little smaller because I don't want to use a whole bunch of ice cream because ice cream is pretty good uh, if you do net carbs, but it is a little on the carby side. So a half of a cup is uh, 15 total carbs, but um, five um, net carbs. So, and I that will probably be about a half a cup on the the chaffle. So it's good. this is going to actually be a very decadent treat for keto something that you wouldn't be eating um, all the time. See how this guy's puffed up? Yeah, he's definitely bigger than the other one. That's okay. And again, he smells very yummy. This guy looks perfect. Um, I'm gonna take him out and I'll put him next to his brother. Yeah, he's nice and fluffy, huh? Yes. I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Um, yeah, I'm going to let this guy cool and then I'll go ahead and cut him and assemble. Okay, this one is definitely cooled, so I'm going to go ahead and measure it out. So, there's that. It is so cute, huh? And there's those little parts, which I think I'll try one. Oh yeah, that tastes really good. <laughs> That's really good. Mmm. <laughs> Tally can't wait to try it either. But yeah, that's really good. That makes a good chocolate chaffle. And uh, Christy topped hers with strawberries and I think whipped cream. So that would be heavenly. Um, I do taste the swerve. Not my favorite. But I think that the ice cream is going to cover that a little bit. Um, and it's fine. I mean, you really need something sweet with, with uh, chocolate. You can't just have plain. That would be too bitter. Okay. Now this guy. He is a lot bigger than the other one. So that was probably a good idea to make um, little rounds. If I do say so myself. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to assemble. Okay, this is a delicate balance. I have my phone on, propped up on my son's... Um, building blocks. So yeah, that's uh, pretty dangerous. If you fall, I'm sorry. So you got the Enlightened, and it is a lot softer than it was, and I've got a, just a cookie scooper. Uh, not a, okay, so these are actually ice cream scoops, but um, I use them to make cookies. So here we go. Okay, whoa, that's nice. And that is, uh -huh, you can have some of that. That is probably a half of a cup. I'm going to turn it around the other way so you can get a better look. Yes. Does that look like heaven or what? See how it's kind of dripping down a little bit? I'm going to take a few pictures and then put it together. I'm actually going to take a couple of Lily's chocolates, chocolates and stick it on the... Um, the thing because I think it'll be really nice to have frozen chunks of chocolate in here. So just, you know, like five ish. And then I stick this guy on top. He's totally melting. I waited too long. That is okay. Whoa. Look at that. So I make homemade ice cream sandwiches for my family a lot with homemade cookies and ice cream and stuff. And even though the melty part kind of looks gross that actually makes the cookie really good too so i'm gonna take a picture 
Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so I took a ton of pictures. It's really melting. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the um, uh, plastic wrap and then I'm going to put it in the freezer today and I'm actually not going to try it today. So you'll have to watch for my um, day of eating video tomorrow because Sunday is my treat day. So I'm going to have this in the freezer overnight. Um, I'm also going to put this in a Ziploc bag too just to make sure it doesn't get any of the um, uh, weird freezer taste. That's so gross to me. Probably a, meat, uh, a small one, Claire. But this is it. And you definitely, on an um, ice cream sandwich, you want it to be in the freezer for like at least five hours or more because that's kind of part of it you want it like really frozen so mine will be overnight and that is as easy as can be i know it's going to taste good because i already tried the chaffle and i know that this mint chip ice cream is delicious so if you want to see me eating it check out my what i ate in a day video tomorrow night which will be sunday night and thank you so much for watching if you try this and make it let me know and there's a variety of ways you can make this with different ice creams and different chaffles so give it a shot.